All right. So guys, let's talk about inner critic today. Let's have a conversation about inner critic. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about inner critic. When I'm saying inner critic, I'm talking about that dialogue that happens inside of your mind when you want to accomplish a goal, you want to do something, you have these ambitions, but for some reason you can't get yourself to take action because of things that you're thinking to yourself. Who here has an inner critic? Who here has heard that voice of doubt creep in when they they have this goal, this thing that they're super excited about and they're, they're after it, they have these ambitions, but for some reason, there's this voice inside of your mind that just holds you back from accomplishing your goals. Who here has felt this inner critic? So I'm going to be talking today about when your inner critic gets so loud that you can't hear yourself think. And frankly, I'm going to talk to two people today. All right. I'm going to be talking to the first person. The first person I'm going to be talking to is that that uh, that online trainer that has ambitions of wanting to start an online business. So we're going to talk to you. I'm also going to be talking to that online trainer who's already in online business, but you're struggling right now because of that inner critic. Okay. So first things first, <clears throat> how many of you guys have wanted to start an online fitness business, but you had thoughts like this? The market is just way too saturated. You know, I want to start my online business and I want to take this thing to the next level, but this market, online fitness, like this online fitness trainer market is just way too saturated. (laughs) How many of you guys have had thoughts like, yeah, I want to start my online fitness business, but I'm just not good enough at social media and I'm not up to speed on TikTok, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook, and I have no idea what to post or what to do. So I'm just not going to start. Or how many of you guys have felt like you want to start, but you're just not fit enough. You're just not jacked enough. You're just not talented enough. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough credentials. So even though you know that you know you know fitness, like you've helped yourself transform your own body and your own mind, but for some reason you haven't been able to take that like insight and allow yourself to help other people online. How many of you guys feel like you're maybe not smart enough or that you don't have a big enough following or that there's too many people doing it already? See, we can have ambitions and we can have goals and we can have things that we want to do. But if we're not right here, if we're not right mentally, if we're not feeling like we can accomplish these goals, then we won't take any productive actions. Like we can actually have a game plan and a blueprint for how to accomplish our goals right in front of us. But unless we get this right up here, the game plan and the blueprint literally doesn't matter. Question, how many of you guys have had a fitness client who you've designed their training, their nutrition program and everything for them, but they just wouldn't follow it? They wouldn't check into their meal plans or they wouldn't, they wouldn't eat their meal plans. They wouldn't check into their workouts. They wouldn't follow along. And you're sitting there and you're wondering why, like, why is it that you can just give somebody a plan, a blueprint for success, but they just won't follow it for whatever reason, right? Like, why is that? When we think thoughts about self-doubt and we criticize ourselves and our ability to take action, we hold ourselves back from being able to accomplish our goals. We end up sitting there and doing absolutely nothing because even though we want these things inside of our mind, we're criticizing ourselves and we're putting ourselves down and we're not giving ourselves a chance to succeed. We're not allowing ourselves to succeed because we criticize ourselves and we hold ourselves back with the things that we think. How many of us can relate to this, right? We sit and we do nothing. Okay, so now I want to talk to that online fitness coach that are... I want to talk to you if you're actually currently building an online fitness business right now, because we talk to those people that are thinking about building it. I want to talk to you if you're currently in an online business. If you're an online trainer right now, how many of you have second guessed yourself? Maybe you thought thoughts like you, maybe you had a thought like, maybe I'm just not cut out for this. Or let's go a layer deeper. Maybe you're an online fitness coach right now and you're trying to attract online clients, but on some level you feel like a fraud. You feel like at some point, somebody's just going to come expose you for the lack of knowledge, the lack of certification, and the lack of ability to transform somebody's lives. You feel like a fraud. You feel like people are just going to discover that you're a fake. You feel like you're an online trainer, and even though you're posting that you're an online trainer and you're posting these workouts on your social media, deep down, you feel like you're not qualified enough. You're not talented enough. Maybe you feel like your clients don't actually like you. Maybe you feel like your clients won't actually pay you and they're going to look for the quickest route as out of your program as fast as possible. What if you're an online coach right now and you feel like you don't deserve success? So you tell things to yourself like, oh, I don't know if I deserve this or I don't know if like I'm cut out for this. 
maybe on some level you feel like a complete and total failure. You feel like you're just like, you're trying to do all these things, but it's not working. And so you just feel like you're a complete and total failure. Guys, what happens to us when these, when these thoughts come in, like inner critic thoughts? It's like we want to accomplish a goal, but then inside of our minds, we're beating ourselves up for things that might not even be true. Where I'm a failure, I'm a loser, I'm not qualified enough, I'm not talented enough. What happens to us when these thoughts come in? The answer is simple. We cripple our ability to take action. If we want to accomplish a goal and we're beating ourselves up before we're even on the path, we cripple our ability to take action. What's the likelihood that you're going to put in the work to succeed in your online business if you don't even think it's possible? The answer is absolutely zero. You're not going to put in the work if you're criticizing yourself, if you're doubting yourself, if you don't believe in yourself, you will not put in the work. Guys, I'm going to be open and transparent with you this like, and let you guys know that my inner critic this past week was louder than it's ever been. Louder than ever. Those of you guys that have been following my social media posts know that I just purchased a gym. I just bought a gym. And um, I've been running an online business, online businesses for the last five, six, seven years. Um, but I just purchased a physical gym, like a physical location. And alongside of the like, oh my God, this is so exciting. And this is such a cool opportunity. And I'm going to have a space for all my clients. Like there's all of these like positive thoughts, but I'm going to share with you guys and let you guys know that like, the overwhelm and the inner critic and the holy shit, I'm going to fail was so loud inside of my mind this week that it was crippling me. Like it was literally crippling me. I got to the point on Saturday where I, um, I didn't know if I was going to share this or not on the podcast, but here we are. So fuck it. I got on the point to the point on Saturday where I literally uh, broke down in my car and I was crying and Kirsten was like, what's wrong? And I was just crying. I was crying and I was like, Yo, like, I don't know if I can handle this. Like, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I don't know. Like, I, like, I feel like a fraud. I feel like a failure. I feel like I'm not going to be able to handle this. And I just like let it all out. And it was just like, all of this overwhelm just came crashing down. And I finally realized I'm like, holy shit, this is my inner critic. Like, this is it. It was so loud. I couldn't hear myself think. I was second guessing everything that I was doing. Did I make the right move? Am I going to be able to handle this? Am I qualified? Am I capable? Am I good enough? Are people going to respect me as a gym owner? Am I going to be able to make this thing work? Am I going to be like all of these self-doubts, fears, um, over, like anxiety, second guessing myself. Guys, if you're an online fitness coach and listening to this right now, here's, here's what I need you to understand. Those of you guys that have ambitions of elevating your life and taking your life to the next level, whether, maybe you're not running an online business right now and you want to start running an online business and you want to get yourself to three to five K. Maybe you're running an online business right now. You're at one to $2,000 and you want to take yourself to five to $10,000. Maybe you're at five to $10,000 right now and you want to double or triple your income. Whenever you have these ambitions internally of accomplishing bigger goals, you have to understand that those external changes are going to cause a lot of internal resistance. Those external changes are going to cause a lot of internal resistance. Big changes externally means that shit changes internally. And when shit changes internally, there's going to be a lot of friction. See, our ego, right? Our ego, which is our inner critic, is designed to keep us safe and secure. That's what comfort zones are. Your comfort zone is where your ego, your personality, your, your persona is comfortable chilling. This is also why... A lot of online trainers have a really hard time committing to going all in on their online business because going all, all in on your online business is scary as hell and it's super uncomfortable, especially if you've been working at a job that's been paying you 15 to $40 an hour for your entire life. And then all of a sudden you want to jump into a career where nothing is guaranteed. No income is guaranteed unless you put in the work. So it's basically saying the harder you work, the more that you'll make. And that's a cool idea, but that's super uncomfortable for a lot of people. And our ego wants to keep us safe and secure. Your brain wasn't designed for like massive surges of growth. That's why we have an inner critic. Your brain, your like our literal survival mechanisms are designed 
to get by and survive. Like we're like we're literally human beings are designed to survive and reproduce. That's what your brain is designed to do. And so that's why even though you might want something, you might want an ambitious school, you might want to get to 10K or take your business online, you have to fight to get there because your brain is wired for survival. It's not wired for growth. Now, if I have your permission, I want to go a layer deeper as my client Melanie would make fun of me for always saying. Your brain is wired for survival, but your spirit craves growth. Your brain is wired for survival, but your spirit craves growth. That's why some of you guys who haven't even started your online fitness business right now are listening to this podcast. Because even though your brain is wired to survive and get by and pay the bills, you're still tuning into this podcast because you know that there's a chance that you could build an online business and that chance excites you because your spirit and your soul loves growth. That's also why some of you guys that are currently in your online business right now are listening to this podcast, even though you're in a business coaching program, because your spirit and your soul craves growth. You want to grow. You want to evolve. You want to change. There's something inside of you that's calling you to a higher level. But here we've got this inner critic that's trying to keep you down, right? This fight, this fight, this like constant... I want to grow, but oh, it's but I don't know if I'm capable or qualified or I don't deserve this or I feel like a failure. So if your brain is working against you and your inner critic is trying to keep you down, what should you do? If your brain is currently working against you and your inner critic is cr- trying to keep you down, what should you do, online fitness coaches? What should you do? I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, share something with you guys. I'm going to share something with you guys. All right. So on Saturday this week, I so I just purchased a gym. Right. On Saturday this week, I uh, I had a com- total breakdown. Like I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this. I'm freaking out. Like I don't like I'm. This is way too much. Holy shit! Like Saturday, I had a freak out. So I, because my inner critic was so loud, I had to wake up the 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 voice and the 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 energy of my spirit and this is how I did it i reminded myself of all of the good shit that i'm already doing so your inner critics like you're a failure you're not good enough you're not talented you're not worthy you're not you don't deserve success so i had to consciously use my soul to overcome that and here's how i did it i literally wrote down a list of all of the things that I'm currently doing in my life that make me a powerful human. All of the moves that I've made in the last 30 days that have elevated my business. And I'm going to share some of it with you guys. Number one, I bought a gym. Number two, I hired somebody to help me with my business. Number three, I hired a financial manager. Number four, I promoted Cole. So Cole is now literally running the academy because he's like, dude, I want to, I want to be the head coach in here and I want to completely train, change trainers lives. So Cole is now the head coach of the academy. It gave more Corey more authority. I promoted team members. I came clean and I finally cried and let out that I was overwhelmed instead of like pretending that I was all good. I just cried and I just admitted it to Kirsten. I'm like, I'm overwhelmed and I have no idea what to do. So I came clean. I sent my grandma money this month. I promoted Tabitha. I hired different people. I had a session with my mentor. So I wrote down a list of all of the productive actions that I've taken in the last 30 days to remind myself of how powerful I actually am. Because that inner critic, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that a lot of people think that success, when you get successful, it automatically means, it automatically means that you're going to, like, everything's good. Once you're successful, you're fucking good. You're in the clear. No self-doubt, no fear, no anxiety. You're good. Woo! Once you once you hit 10K a month, you're in the clear. You're not going to experience any self-doubt anymore for the rest of your life, period. That's not how this shit works. This actually never goes away, ever. I can promise you guys that every time I go to the next level, it's a whoof, like my entire bot, like it's like it takes over my nervous system. So when your inner critic gets so loud that you can't hear yourself think, you need to wake up and remember who the fuck you are. Let's go. 
When your inner critic gets so loud that you can't hear yourself think, you need to sit down and you need to remind yourself. It doesn't matter if you need to do sit, like look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself all the things you're doing. Take out your notepad and write down a list of all of the things that you're doing in your life that are incredible or all of the moves that you made in your life where you've overcome. And guys, for me, this wasn't just like a list. I also took my mind back to all of the situations and the circumstances that I've already overcome in my life. I'm like, man, I overcame a drug addiction. I got this shit. I'm like, man, I started my own online business and I'm like starting to succeed. I got this shit too. It's like, man, I got over that crazy breakup that like crippled me. I've got this shit too. I've already overcome so much in my life and I'm also going to overcome this because that's who I am. Your inner critic is never going to go away because your brain is wired for survival. Your brain is literally wired to reproduce and that's it and survive. That's like your actual hardwiring. That's what you're designed to do. But your spirit and your soul craves growth, which is why you're still listening to this podcast. So you need to ask yourself what voice you're going to listen to. Because there's always going to be those voices where it like they tell, like trying to tell you that you're not good enough or not talented or not, or you're a failure. You're not going to make it. There's too many people doing it. You're too late. You miss the boat. There's always going to be these voices that come up inside of your mind that try to hold you back from your potential. And you need to ask yourself, If you're going to accept that as your reality and just lay down and take it, or you're going to wake yourself up and do something. And guys, it never goes away. So this is just like, this is just the beginning, right? This is just the beginning. This is just one of the chapters in my book. And I'm going to have to, I will probably have to refer back to this podcast in the next, you know, one, two, three years when my business explodes. And I have to like remind myself of who I am. It never goes away. But when your inner critic gets so loud, that you can't hear yourself think, you need to wake up and you need to remember who you are. All right? Guys, let's go. Let's go. I am feeling it. I am feeling it. So moving forward, moving forward, if you're listening to this right now and you're, uh, and you're going through a hard time and you're feeling that inner critic really creep in, um, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Sit down and wake up. Do something with your life. Don't just sit there. Don't just lay down. And I understand that this message might not be for everybody. And I understand that some people are just comfortable chilling and laying down and not doing anything, but I'm not speaking to you. I'm trying to speak to those people that want to do something bigger with their life. And so if you want to do something bigger, understand that there's always going to be a part of you that tries to hold you back because you're designed for survival. Now you need to ask yourself the question, are you going to listen to that inner critic or are you going to wake up and remember who you are.